Okay, so now we are still solving for variables in algebraic equations, but we're using multiplication now. Okay, so what's if we have 6 times something equals 78, what's the very first thing we want to do? Um, divide it by 6. And why would we want to divide it by 6? To get the variable alone. Good, we want to isolate the variable. We want to get this variable by itself. So the only thing on this side will be y, and then we'll figure out what the answer is on the other side. Okay, and just to make it clear, let's draw our little, our little dotted line, maybe in blue, a different color. Thank you to show that this whole left side should be equal to that whole right side. Awesome, okay? So we decided that in order to get y by itself, since we're doing multiplying, we should divide. So let's go ahead and do divide by 6. Now when we do that, what's the only thing we have left? Everybody. The y. y. Okay, so go ahead and cross off the 6, okay? The only thing left we have is y on that side, okay? Now, what do we have to do? So y is equal to 78. We're done. No. 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 What's the deal next? Now you have to do uh, balance it out. Good. We need to balance out our equation. If we divided this side by 6, we'd have to divide that side by 6. So go ahead and do that. Now, if we knew this automatically, if this was like a quick fact that we knew, we could just do y equals whatever, okay? But this is one that we have to do long division for. So let's go ahead and do it maybe in blue to the side as well, okay? So let's do long division in the corner, 78 divided by 6. So it's kind of nice. The only thing left we have on the left side is y. You can go ahead and solve that. Um, and we're going to figure out what's on the right side. Good, nice job. And then 6 goes into 18 three times. Good. And then if you were to continue, you would have nothing left. Awesome job. Okay. So what is 78 divided by 6, everybody? 13. 13. Good. So what is the only thing that we have on the left side of the equation? Y. 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 So go ahead and put that there. Now, we just solved this side of the equation. What did we get for this answer? So go ahead and do equals. We figured out this side was 13. Okay. Now, can you go ahead and erase what we did with the 78 divided by 6? What's actually the very last step we want to do? First, we want to isolate the variable using the inverse operation. Then we want to do the same thing to the other side to keep our equation balanced. What's the third thing we want to do? And some of you guys use, you want to check in. What's that fancy term? Verify. We want to verify our answer. How do we verify our answer? Um, if we're saying that y is 13, how can we check it or how can we verify it? We multiply 6 by 13. Good. So let's go ahead and see. Let's see if this is true. So let's see if 6 times this 13, which is what we're saying it is, it should be 78. So would you mind going and doing that to the side? 13 times 6. Let's keep our fingers crossed. It should be 78 because 78 should equal 78. So let's see. Is it 78? Yes. yes. Woohoo! So if we were to plug that in. Okay, 6 times 13, this side is 78. What's the other side? From the beginning, what was it? It was 78. So 78 equals 78. That works out. Nice job.